For abstract type table implementation, we may have different ways. If the data in the table are unsorted, we could use array-based or reference-based to store data into any location. If the data in the table are sorted by search key, that means we must insert new items in appropriate positions as determined by the key's value. We could use array-based or reference-based. Both implementations should maintain a count of the items in the table. Abstracted type table can also be implemented by using abstracted type list, sorted list, or even binary search tree. For array-based sorted table, you can see the data in the array are arranged based on the value. And also we have the count, the size of elements stored in the table, which is a 9 here. If we use a linked list to, to implement our sorted table, so you can see the nodes contain the data are sorted based on the search key. We also need uh, the size data member. Using ADT binary search tree to implement our sorted table is also a common way. That means internally it is a binary search tree. From outside, people see as a table. We also need the count, which refers the number of items in the table or in the binary search tree. The requirements of the particular application influence the selection of a uh, implementation of table. One implementation supports some of operations more efficient than the other. So how to choose an implementation of table for a particular application? What are those factors affecting the selection of implementation? The following three factors are most important. What are those necessary operations for the applications required for the table? And what is expected frequency of each operation? What are required response times for those operations? In next section of this lecture, we are going to give you detailed examples to show how to make a choice of implementation.